Hey everybody, welcome to Revere Urban Homestead. A quick tip I wanted to give everyone is your tomato plants, after the tomatoes are off of these pods, you're just leaving them on there, they're using up energy on your plants. Get rid of them. Go through your tomato plants and look for them. Here's another one right here. Look for those used tomato pods and also just look for anything not growing anything that's brown really groom your tomato plants they like it keep them groomed keep all the green growth growing this is some of the stuff I pruned off of mine today I mean tons of these I found even just some strands of stuff that isn't looking that great like if you come over here I took off quite a bit of stuff on some of these, you know, branches that just weren't looking very good. Took them all off. This plant was looking nice and full and beautiful. This is that volunteer tomato plant. It's looking a little straggly now because I cleaned it all up. But that's going to help promote new growth. It's going to help the new stuff, like right here, that's growing now. It's going to help it get the energy needed to start producing. I'm still getting tomatoes on it. Like I said, cleaned it up pretty good. And even at my other plants, let's go check those Here out. Here are the two tomato plants on the outer edge of my garden that weren't doing that great for a while. Now, they're doing a lot better. Getting new flowers on them. Getting tomatoes still on them. I'm going to do a fertilizing with the organic fertilizer probably we've been getting a lot of rain so I think some of my nutrients is getting washed out of these plants so but what I did is I came through here and I just cleaned out all the dead stuff all the empty tomato castings and used that energy to go toward my actual tomatoes and not to just sustain those things that aren't doing nothing you can see I got some tomatoes down there too. And then they just look a whole lot better. They're nice and pruned. No brown crap on them. I mean they're looking really good. And then the last tomato plant is the one we put closer to the house in the small pot. Let's check it out. I must say it too is doing very good. Getting tomatoes on it. I just pruned a whole bunch of stuff off of it but it's growing nicely. I did have to take a bunch of vines growing on it out this morning, but it's just kind of taking over that area. I'll just let it roll. So anyway, prune your tomato plants. Very important. And let's go to another maintenance tip. The cucumber plants. Definitely having some little issues with the caterpillars. They're eating up, you know, some leaves. But the t cucumbers are looking good. They're starting to grow. That thing is probably about seven foot tall. Maybe, yeah, I'd say about seven foot tall. And I am getting flowers all along them. I have been um, self-pollinating these plants for the last couple of days because I know there's bees around, but when I see those male flowers starting to come out and test the waters, I want to give them some activity. Okay, so with the flowers, it's very simple. You just locate one, put your finger right there, and act like a bee. Just tap it. Tap the flower. There you go. Move to another flower. Tap it. And just kind of get that pollen moving around. There's another one. Tap it. There's another one. And then you just tap it with your finger. Just kind of rub your finger in that in that flower for a little while. And then you're just like acting like a bee. See, here's another one. Get in there and just kind of tap it. Move to the next one. Tap it inside there. And you're just kind of stimulating it. And that'll help speed up the process of getting more fruit by um, tapping those. Actually, I just see this one in here. You just 
just get it tapped and down there. There's another one back here. Bam. Okay, so now I just did the bee's job, kind of. It's helping. And another thing with the cucumber plants, as far as maintenance, as you can see, I'm getting eaten up. You got to start looking underneath. Good bug, ladybug, I love to see that. These ants, though, they start collecting the aphids and all that stuff in here. But I just always flip the leaves. Look underneath them. Look for caterpillars and stuff and get them off your plants. They will destroy your plants if you just leave them on there. So another maintenance tip. Self-pollinate the cucumber, the initial flowers to get them going. And look under the leaves of these if you're doing squash, cabbage, all that stuff really attracts caterpillars. So look under the leaves, do daily maintenance. Keep your plants growing big. Look at that thing. Thing's huge. I'm just waiting for some cucumbers now. Okay everybody, so just a little recap on the tomatoes. Let's start there. Always get off all the dead matter. Those spent uh, tomato castings, get rid of those. Keep that energy going into the plant itself, the useful parts of the plant. Um, I fertilize every 30 days with an organic granular fertilizer. Sometimes the liquid one too if I really need a quick uh, result. Um, and also compost tea does not hurt at all. So compost tea whenever you can. Um, and with the cucumbers again, what I do is I do the male, you know, the pollinating those male flowers. Initially the male flowers come out just to see if there's any pollinators. If they start getting some action then the female flowers start producing. So you get to those male flowers early and you'll get fruit earlier. Also check under the leaves, aphids, caterpillars, there's a lot of stuff that goes on under your leaves. Look at the veins of those leaves for those little green caterpillars. Once you start seeing them and can notice them, then it's quick work. I went through mine um, yesterday, got about 25 caterpillars, tiny ones mainly. I did find a couple of big ones that I have missed in previous lookings. So it's, it's diligent work, it's maintenance. Out here it's already 90 degrees all the time, it's already summer here. So I'm dealing with the summer stresses with these plants right now, so trying to keep them as healthy as possible. Anyway, y'all have a good day.